Hey guys, we have a boss fight with Yuto this episode. We should treat ourselves to a day on the town to raise spirits. Yeah, we can't force it on Kasane though. You're right. Seeing Naomi like that, even I was shaken. Um, before we get there though, let's just we have to go through some cutscenes. So let's go through this one first. Stand by, huh? So what do you want to do? We could go back to OSF headquarters. Before you do, could I have a moment of your time? Excuse me, but who are you? Please excuse my manners. I work for the Ceyron government. I have come to ask you all a favor. This is a request from a group of us who do not quite see eye to eye with Travers. What are you talking about? I thought Major General Karin and the Ceyron government are in this together. We have determined that Yuito Sumeragi is connected to the Kunad Gate's formation. Uh. Our experts say that the gate will bring a great disaster to the world if left alone. We propose the assassination of Yuito Sumeragi to Travers, but he has skirted the issue. After some reconsideration, we decided that we should delegate this task to the hero who assassinated Chairman Sumeragi instead. You want Kasane to assassinate Yuito? I'll do it. What? Are you serious? Do you know what you're even saying? Thank you for your cooperation. We have intel that Yuito Sumeragi is currently in Kikuchiba on assignment. I will leave the rest to you. Good day. I wasn't able to find out the identity of that man, but I was at least able to determine that he works for Seiron's Prime Minister. So the fact that this is a request from the government checks out. Are you really going to assassinate Yuito? Look, I know what this sounds like coming from me, but don't you think that's a bit much? I'm not saying what future Yuito told you isn't true. Kagero does have a point. As of now, we only have circumstantial evidence. Nothing is really concrete. This also goes against Major General Karin's wishes. Are you still gonna go through with it? Yes. I'm going to kill Yuito. That's most likely the only solution we have. Only solution my ass! I'll make my way to Kikuchiba. What the hell? You can't just leave! Please wait, Kasane. You should reconsider! That's right. You're making a rash decision. Oh dear. She isn't listening at all. Damn, she's so selfish! So grab the 400 kins that I just jumped down and got. There's also... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. We have to go around this way. There's also 600 more kins that spawn. So that's a total of 1,000 kins. And the 600 kins can be found right here. So 1,000 extra kins. There should be another item hidden behind something. Uh, not this side. Over it. I think it's over here. It's kind of hard to see because it's in behind here. And it's like glitchy to pick up. There. All normalization tablet. Kikuchiba. Let's teleport to mid level shopping district. Alright, here we go. We got some new enemies. Sort of. Sort of. Oh, that guy has like no HP. There we go, he's dead. We just got the skull left now. We'll take him out easily. There we go. So we should have some new enemies coming up. After we take out the first wave. Use it 
All right, we'll brain crush him. And here's the new enemy right here. Defensive foes. Some others can take on a defensive stance when approached. They can't be damaged in this protective position, but you can use SES Hyper Velocity or Invincibility to approach them undetected and strike them unawares. Another thing is, we'll do this. And L1 him. Just like that. There should be another spawn coming up. Oh shit. Okay. Let's go invisible here. We'll grab this guy. Once he goes down like this, then we'll use duplication. And L1 him. Okay, we'll go invisible again. And do the same thing to this guy. And here we go. Oh, there's this guy as well. I forgot about him. The enemy's outer shell. You might be able to break it. The shell is broken. Attack now. Perfect. That seems to be the spot. And then we'll go this side. Yeah, bitch. Huh. And finish it. Medium jelly. I thought there was another item. Did I run over it already? I don't know. Anyways. Let's proceed up here. This is where the boss fight is. Before we start the boss fight in the corner here, let's grab this. And then we're going to put some skill points in. So let's learn this one here. Brain Drive Gauge Accumulation plus 20%. And then we'll learn this. Increase plug-in capacity at the equip screen by 1. I was going to put Brain Drive Accelerate on, but I think now since we've learned that Brain Map skill, I'm going to put SES Recovery Support on instead. And I'll try that over the Brain Drive Accumulation of 5%. Let's make a save here. Alright, cutscene time. Well, we came here just like the guy wanted us to. Are you sure about this? Are you really going to kill Yuito? Either way, we couldn't just let you go by yourself. Everyone here has your back. Listen, Kasane. We'll help you fight, but it ends there. After that, each of us will act independently. Got it? There you are. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Alright, so I'm first gonna focus on Luca here. So I slow down first, and I'll use L1 to water him up. This makes it a lot easier to electrocute him. So we can paralyze him. However, if you use the triangle attack, this attack right there, that does massive electricity damage for paralyzing him. It's so easy to paralyze these characters when you use that triangle attack. 
even without using the water to make them wet. You're gonna see that I'm gonna get it off very soon. As Raid coming up. I think I might go for the pole first though. Yeah, I, I go for the pole first. To knock him down, and then I'm gonna use a triangle attack, I think. Or no, I don't, because I don't have. Oh yeah, he's paralyzed, see? So I took advantage of duplication. That's what I did. There we go. This is in guide mode right now. This is not live commentary. After this boss fight is over with, it'll go back to live commentary again. So Luca is down, and now I'm gonna focus on Gun Lady over here. We're basically just gonna do the same thing that we did with Luca. We're gonna paralyze her, use duplication, and she'll go down really quick and slow down time. All right, we got a nice attack right there. So she should be paralyzed very soon. And there we go, we got her paralyzed. See, we didn't even use water to make her wet. We just got her paralyzed normally. That's how powerful that triangle attack is, that paralyzing. And now we have our overdrive up here, our limit break. And she's down, so we're just focusing on Yuto now. So basically what I'm trying to do here is just weaken up Yuto. And once I get him weak enough after, I'm going to go into Brain Drive. And you can actually finish off Yuto in Brain Drive before he gets to transform into his Brain Drive. Just make sure that we get him nice and weak first. That's all. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna focus on paralyzing him with that triangle attack so he's on the ground right now. And now I'm gonna go for some combos. I'm gonna try and get a massive combo off right there. See, that did a lot of crush damage, and then at that point, I just went into brain drive now. Alright, so from here, we will now finish off Yuto before the brain drive wears out. And because we finished off Yuto in brain drive, he wasn't able to transform into his brain drive. So there's the first brain crush right there. And I'm gonna start throwing objects at him with R1. And after a while I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of them and try and crush him. You can see his HP is really low, he's almost dead. Massive attack. Oh, I tried it. I think I missed it. He is done. Kasane, tell me! Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Master Yuito! Kodama is here! Huh? Kodama. Great, just what we needed. We should fall back to our hideout. Uh, wait, Kasane! This is completely messed up. How can you just decide to kill Yuito like that? That day we came back from the future, you said that it wasn't going to be an easy decision yourself. Our future depends on it. Look, if that's your argument, do you actually have proof that it's all true? I'm sorry, but I just don't believe that killing Yuito is the answer to solving everything. Besides, it seems pretty extreme to kill both the father and the son. What exactly is your reasoning behind all this? 
If you can justify killing Yuito, then I'm all ears. There's no point trying to explain. That's for us to decide! What? I've been wanting to tell you this for a while now, Kasane, but you are way too selfish. You make quick decisions and determine what needs to be done. Even when you lose your cool, you're able to compose yourself. I really respect those qualities. Yeah, I said it, I respect you. That's why I was able to accept you as my leader. But no, not this time. Why should you kill Yuito? Don't expect any help from me until you can give me a good, valid reason. That... but... Whoa there, Shiden. I think that's enough. Ah, oh, the youth are so passionate. I like it. It looks like your passion got to her. Continuing to harp on her like that isn't going to get us answers. Listen, Kasane, we have no idea what kind of things you're bottling up inside. We don't know the weight of it, or whether it's painful or not. The only thing we know right now is simply what happened to Naomi. Saying that an explanation would be pointless means you have something you should say. Lucky for you, there are four open-minded people here ready to listen. I'm pretty sure there are different perspectives you can consider as well. Tell us. We deserve to hear it. Yes, we're all on the same team here. I'm sorry. So you're really not gonna tell us? N no I just wasn't sure how to explain it, so I'm sorry I said it'd be pointless to tell you. Well, if that was the case, then you should have said something. I I'm sorry. Oh, this apology is for making you jump to conclusions, so... Yeah, I think I got that. Hey, Sheedan, come on. Let's try to relax a little, okay? It's great you're invested, and that's cool and all, but it's also lame at the same time. Shut up! Anyway, if you're gonna tell us, then tell us already. Uh, okay. The first reason is what I felt at Kunod Gate. I felt something like the power of the red strings coming from it. The time portal that should be disappearing lingers because of Yuito's power. That's what made me believe what future Yuito said. The second reason is because of what Karin said. He knows that we went to the future. He does? Arashi, you were eavesdropping so you can confirm. Yeah. From what was said in the future, I knew there was a good chance that Karin was involved in some way or another. He's at least aware that a time-traveling power exists and has accepted it. The third reason is that the Seiron official said Yuito was involved. I see. So for you, all your suspicions leading up to now were confirmed. Yes. I mean, they're all just circumstantial, but it's all I have. I'm sorry. You're apologizing for the wrong thing again. What we wanted was a fair explanation, and you provided one. You don't need to apologize for that. And it's thanks to your explanation, we came to understand exactly why you made your decision. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from now. But I still have a question. Why didn't you discuss all this with us? I told you. I didn't have any definite proof, and I didn't think you'd believe me. But I did. And everyone else here, too. Some of it I'm still not convinced about, but I don't think all of it's a lie. It's proof that your way of thinking is wrong. That's why we should talk from now on. We have each other's backs here. That's what makes us a team. I'm sorry. There you go again. Huh? There's a different phrase you should be saying right now. That's right. If you want to build trustful relationships, an apology isn't what's needed right now. Oh. Um. Thank you. Everyone. I guess I should talk to Kagero. Kasane, good. Do you mind if I butt in? Haruka, you were listening? Yeah, I agree with everyone. So I want you to know you can always talk to me. Alright guys, we're in standby now. So I'll see you next episode. We'll do gifts, bonds, friends. and upgrades. I've wanted friends before, but... There's a limit to what I can do or think of by myself. I'll try to rely on other people a little more. So I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.